so I, there was a golden era over the summer when I did Meteor News like every month. So I knew what I'd said the previous month. Um, it's now been about four months, uh, so I can't remember what the last thing I said in Meteor News was, which just makes it more exciting. So if any of this um, is either... Oh, don't. There we are. Um, if any of this is, um, seems more new than you were expecting or less new than you were expecting, just pretend it's kind of an appropriate level of news and we'll all be happy at the end of it. So what have we got? Well, first of all, where should you uh, be looking for news? Um, the forums uh, are like the most cutting edge place to find Meteor News, forums.meteor.com. They're really active. Um, every topic from kind of really kind of um, idiosyncratic stuff is in there to the big the big questions that people are asking about Meteor and its future. Um, the blog, which is not as updated anywhere near as frequently, but has some very important stuff released there. This Week in Meteor is the best regular news source, um, Meteor-related news source. Um, and Crater.io is a, um, a formerly Meteor-dedicated kind of hacker news clone thing. It's no longer Meteor-dedicated. They've changed it to be dedicated to kind of real-time um, web apps, I suppose, but the, the remit has been broadened slightly. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, if you subscribe to This Week in Meteor, you'll be not too far away from knowing everything important that's going on. Um, the other good place to look is the history.md on um, the Meteor repo, where they list everything that's coming up in the next release or is in the current um, uh, release candidate, and everything that's been in all the previous releases, so you can see what the changes are. Um, you, you're generating news, you are the Meteor community. Lots of things, if any of you do follow the Meteor community at all, you will know that lots of things are generated by um, people within that community, um, such as the kind of de facto routing solution, the de facto, the de facto uh, schema, stuff like that. That's all come from the, the community, um, and you are members of it, so we want to see you generating news, and if you generate something that you think is interesting to talk about, come and give a lightning talk. If you don't want to give a lightning talk, although you should give a lightning talk, then if you think there's something that's worth mentioning in Meteor News, then please come and see us or send us an email, or if you must get in touch by a meetup, but we'd rather you tweeted us or really did anything else, smoke signals would be better. But any, if get in touch if you've got anything you think is interesting to say. Uh, DevShop NYC. So New York, who have been having a really um, active Meteor community for quite some time, have been um, declared a dev shop, which is great. Um, they are organized by Adrian Lanning, who is the guy who wrote the roles package, which thousands and thousands of people have used, and some other people who I'm sure are great, um, and we will be able to see their videos online, um, and I'm sure they'll be fascinating. So that's really good. Uh, Meteor 1.2 has landed. I hope you've all noticed this. Um, what changes has it brought? Well. Um, ES 2015, which if you've been to a conference recently, you'll know is mostly what people want to talk about. Um, and I'd say with good reason, because um, there's lots of really interesting features. Um, it is, to a certain extent, a way of making a language with too many ways of doing things, have even more ways of doing things. But some of it's really good, and when used with Meteor, will um, kind of improve your code brevity and allow you to do more expressive stuff easier. And it's all baked into Meteor now. Um, you, you just, you know, if you're using Meteor 1.2, you can use all the, um, the AS 2015, which uh, Babel or Babel, whichever you prefer it, supports um, in your uh, application without doing anything else. Faster builds via ISO build. Um, and Node uh, now using version 0.10.40, which doesn't sound that cutting edge anymore. Uh, but there we are. Um, that's updated. And there's also some other stuff in there, more kind of uh, idiosyncratic stuff like... Um, uh, we've got template, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, space, bar, space bar sub expressions. Uh, we've got some rate limiting on methods and publications. Um, there's various other kind of important things to people who have, have already built applications who have been requesting stuff for, for a long time. A lot of that came in in 1.2. Um, there's some breaking changes, so it's worth looking at the wiki if you do have an application that you're thinking of updating. They're relatively minor, I'd say. Um, the hot news, though, is that the um, <coughs> Meteor's front-end future, which has been kind of up for debate for a little while, it seems to be heavily React-based, um, based on the output from uh, very recent output from uh, people in MDG. Um, people love React at the moment. Hopefully, they'll continue to love React, but it certainly solves some of the problems that um, 
Blaze, for example, um, has in terms of um, hierarchies and so on. Um, for the record, we think Blaze is great, and we use it in a lot of applications, and um, we think that minor tweaking could make it even more great. Um, but the whole world is going React crazy, and to a certain extent, Angular, and so I think it's perfectly reasonable that um, Meteor wants to support these uh, technologies as kind of first-class citizens. So this is what Jeff Schmidt said um, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, what we're planning to do is build templating on top of React, the best of both worlds, Blaze style reactive templating combined with the component model of React, which sounds brilliant. Um, he then goes on to say, what else did he say? Oh, we're just excited about Angular. I'm not, but you know, that's just me. <laughs> Our intention is to support both of them equally as first class citizens and deliver the best possible full stack experience for each of them. So um, that if, if you are, um, obviously if you're somebody who has experience with React or with Angular, that makes Meteor a much more attractive option. Even if you've got an existing app that uses um, Angular or React and a different backend, then porting it to Meteor becomes much more achievable. Today's Blaze will continue to work, but MDG's uh, development efforts will be focused on the new React-based templating option, React.js, and on Angular. So what the new React-based templating option is, that's kind of the big question for a lot of people with existing apps. Um, uh, Evan Yu, who I, I don't know anything about, but I've certainly heard of and um, uh, read a bit about Vue.js, um, is, is um, basically going to be building this new um, React on top of, uh, templating engine on top of React. Um, and he says, so instead of keeping the old API and treating React as a low-level implementation detail, we want to embrace its strength, which is the component model, um, and providing on top of it what people like about Blaze, which you know, is the tight integration with templating and reactivity um, that you know, people have been uh, building apps really quickly using Meteor from day one. Um, exciting times. Um, the, this, I think, is a really important quote. So um, if, if any of you have opinions on this, I would encourage you to get on the forums and state those opinions um, because it, it really feels like MDG are soliciting feedback on this. Abigail Watson, who is a kind of quite a, a major figure in um, the meteor world and has been for some time, I think has um, the best quote, which is a request not to change the existing API. Um, there's people who've built really impressive apps um, Possibly, well, we've built lots of apps. I, I can't say they're really impressive. That would be down to you. But we've built lots of apps based on the existing Blaze API, and it works well enough to build stuff that is great, that you're really proud of. And so we, we just hope that the, the API doesn't change, and the functionality can be swapped out, and then we can you know, maybe have some improved functionality. But the, there are a lot of apps out there which use Blaze and work really, really well. So that's the, um, I'd say, the, the most succinct plea from the community. Um, from, uh, but there's plenty more on there. And if you do have an opinion, get in the forums and state it. Uh, and yeah, discuss it. So over the burritos. And uh, yeah, what's your news? So just to reiterate Alan's plea, if you've got anything else to talk about, um, if you built an app, if you want to demonstrate something that works and you're proud of or doesn't work and you want to know why, please uh, volunteer and your five minutes of fame will come and lots of people want to talk to you and it'll be great. And uh, yeah, get in touch with us if you've got anything else you want to talk to us about, that's the best place. Um, Meteor London is the GitHub repo and next is where we're talking about what we're gonna be doing next. And I think that's it.